Now, we are going through difficult times, but I can also tell you, you need to start paying attention and think of where you would be in a month, two, once all of this is done. My contention is that most of us would be much stronger having come through this, having dealt with this challenge. It will make you stronger. You would be able to deal with adversity in the future much better. So use this as an opportunity. The other thing which people sometimes bring up is, what if I'm prone to getting anxious very quickly or depressed very quickly? Are there ways to get around it? That's, those are very good questions. So what we need to do is to really, first thing is to calm ourselves down. Take a few deep breaths, about four to five minutes, three to four times a day it will make a big difference, you will see. You will sleep better, you will be calmer during the day. You will also think very clearly as opposed to being constantly anxious about what is going on around you. Getting back to the opportunity, as I said earlier, you know, many times we go through life doing things like automatons. These days you have the opportunity to reflect on the kind of food that you eat, actually, do you really like them? Can you do better? Can you get involved in cooking? Can you get involved in some of the online classes of painting, cooking, virtual games? Think about that by doing some of those activities. Many times people say, well, I have kids and I have other family members and, you know, we are constantly with each other. We are not used to it and that causes some friction. That's understandable. But I say flip that around and look at the other side of it. This is a unique opportunity to actually get to know some of your family members a little bit more deeply, create stronger bonds, understand where they're coming from, understand their needs maybe better. Believe it or not, if you are just a little bit more patient with them, you'll recognize that they are also more giving and more patient. So it's a matter of give and take. Maybe some of the basic things that all of us learned as kids and then have, yes, promptly forgotten. So working on relationships, creating stronger bonds, getting involved in activities, which you know all of us like, certain movies, for example, maybe talking to friends virtually together. Those things, I think, can strengthen the bonds. I was also talking about earlier, setting up uh, structure and routines for the kids, very important. So they can both learn at the same time, feel they are being rewarded by getting involved in activities which they truly like. How can we be creative to design in many ways our day somewhat better, in a healthier way? What is it each one of us, I think, can take time and think? Where do we spend a lot of time sometimes pursuing activities which are not very fulfilling? Maybe worrying about things maybe constantly focusing on things which are not fulfilling to us. And I think to me, for sure, we can use this opportunity to redesign and focus on activities which we really love. They can be those creative activities of writing a blog, painting, getting involved in classes, enhancing ourselves overall, making new friends, talking to people in a slightly different fashion, trying to understand where people are coming from, looking at how all of the humanity is reacting to this epidemic and what positive can come out of it.